Hello and welcome to another episode of Greg's Library. It's been a while and today we brought a very special book that Greg will tell us all about. It's by Josef Hoflehner, an Austrian photographer. So tell us more about the photographer first. Uh, Josef Hoflehner was born in 1955 in Austria and he's a self-made photographer. Um, at the age of 20 he started with photography while he was working in South Africa. His first education was in hotel management and uh, at the age of 20 he realized that he had a talent and, uh, for, for photography and that he was interested in photography. And so he started his career and began developing his own various and distinctive styles. Um, today Josef Hoflehner's photography gets comments like Josef Hoflehner says a lot with very little. So that tells a lot about a photographer and his work. So speaking of the work, um, let's take a closer look at the book. Um, which book do we have here and um, what kind of work does it um, contain? Uh, it's a quite new book uh, called Retrospective 1975 to 2015. And it's a collection of black and white images showing his uh, work over and his development as a photographer over a time of 40 years. and. Uh, yeah, it's for me it was quite impressive because although the newer photographs came to me like fallen out of time and they are timeless. And that's what I was really excited uh, about. And what stands out when looking at the book is the, the format and then looking at some of the images we see a lot of typical 6x6 six six, uh, square compositions. Yeah, a lot of square compositions and I like square compositions. I'm also a fan of Michael Kenner, for example, as mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I'm a fan of the twin lens reflex, Rolli flex, that works also in the square format. And so um, his photographs are very inspiring for me. Mm -hmm. um, can you shed some light on some of the works and the kinds of um, series that we see in this book? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, one of his uh, most famous series is uh, about jet liners, um, passenger jets flying very low uh, when they approach to the airport. And Josef Hoflehner took these images over a time from 2009 to 2011 at various spots. Uh, one was an island in the Caribbean Sea St. Martin's, another spot was uh, Los Angeles International Airport. And um, interestingly, these images are very sought after from international collectors. So Josef Hoflehner has an uh, international reputation as a photographer. Yeah, and looking especially at this series, you really feel like, okay, how have these images been created? Was he really like standing there with a tripod and the camera and just waiting for the jetliner? Is that how we can um, imagine it? Josef Hoflehner is well known that he's nothing orchestrating. So uh, he's very patient. Uh, he puts his camera on a tripod and he waits for the right moment. So nothing is orchestrated, nothing is manipulated uh, in that sense. So it's uh, just... Uh, a, a short period of time caught into square format. Yeah. And on the one hand we have images with the jet liners, um, but at the same time we also have images that are very calm and quiet, uh, landscape photography. Landscape, but nature photography. Uh, in 2007 he got the award as uh, Nature Photographer of the Year. So uh, we don't see only urban landscapes, we also see real landscapes, we see nature photographs and his, uh, his oeuvre is widespread. So he's a, a really 
a universal photographer and you cannot fix him to a special topic. So he's, uh, and, and in all his photographs, uh, if we are talking about uh, landscapes, if you are talking about city photographs, uh, you see this uh, amazing talent. Yeah. And at least to me, um, going through the book for the first time, I also felt like traveling the world. <laughs> of course, it's not just 40 years, which is impressive, but also you're really going through the globe. C Cuba's in mm. there, uh, so many places in there and really fascinating. Yeah, Joseph Hoflander says about himself that he's uh, always looking for empty and, and uh, empty spaces and, and wide views. So uh, when you're growing up in, in and the narrowness of uh, of the Alps, and I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you you are always uh, searching for this uh, for this higher position where you can have an overlook. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember when I was a child, I was always climbing the mountains because I wanted to see what is behind. And uh, I think. Uh, Joseph Hoflehner is driven by the same intention and um, when you when you're looking to his photographs of these wide landscapes, these open spaces, uh, I really like it. Yeah. yeah. And on the positive side, this is a book that is not uh, a special edition or some particularly expensive book. No, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's affordable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. So it doesn't cost uh, <laughs> an, an arm and a leg. So. Yeah, yeah, but because we've, we've discussed special editions before here, yeah. um, looking at Henri oh, Cartier-Bresson and, and other things. And this one is really around 35 euro or so, so you can really get it if, you, if you're interested. And yeah, as we said, 40 years of photography, um, super diverse, super interesting, and especially for film photographers liking the square format, it's, it's definitely worth taking a look. Anything else um, we want to add? Um. I think we uh, we, we uh, um, told enough about the photographer mm -hmm. and uh, uh, his work, which is uh, within forty years you, he made a different series about different topics and uh, other book publications. But uh, for me, this book was very interesting because it captures different uh, views to his work over a time of 40 years and um, honestly I didn't know him mm -hmm. until um, I found the book review in a magazine for black and white photography mm -hmm. and uh, I was immediately interested in it. I bought the book and um, no regret. Yeah, nice. So something very special today. We as always hope you enjoyed this episode of Greg's Library and maybe you, we sparked your curiosity as well. If you enjoyed this video please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to our channel. Jules, Greg and I really appreciate each and every subscriber coming our way. So thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.